what a privilege it is for me to be a part of this joyous celebration. Chairperson, Ms. Grace, respected special guest, Sri Shainan Longma, Honorable Speaker, Lovely Legislative Assembly, respected team speaker, Sri Atiko Jumani, the President, Lovely Bar Association, respected Pastor, Katie Baptist Church, Dr. Rokopi Gayana Satsa, respected Pastor, Montokyu, Yim Kyung Baptist Forum of Ma, dignitaries, seniors, students, and everyone present this afternoon. It is with great pride and honor that I stand before you to share the humble journey of the Nagyong Do Students Federation, NLSF, as it stands, came into existence in the year 1998 under the visionary leadership of Sir Tiakaba Jamir and his two colleagues, Nirmal and Lee Nian. The Federation was established with a vision to uplift the welfare of the legal students and promote the sanctity of the legal profession. Two decades back, we, the Nagas, in general, we were legally ignorant, shy, and scared, and for which the existence of legal personalities were seldom acknowledged, and the legal fraternity did not fare well. It was pursued mostly by three categories of people. Firstly, the government employees, to add another feather in their cap, the chief or score enough marks or percentages to pursue postgraduate degree courses. Then we have the aspirants of different competitive exams seeking knowledge, legal knowledge to pass the exam. Category consisting of married students and individuals who were determined to pursue this legal profession was only a handful 25 years ago. An additional setback for enthusiastic students wanting to pursue legal education was the indifferent and the methodical attitude of the government and the university towards legal students, coupled with poor infrastructure and the substandard educational system, which was not at par with other educational institutions in the state. However, as mentioned by our president, with the formation of the NLSF and the active participation and efforts of the legal students in various educational activities, the existence and the importance of legal institution and the legal fraternity, it gradually gained momentum. And the legal institution, which were once functioning as part-time institution, often labeled and tagged as dustbin colleges. It converted into a full-fledged, full-time regular institution with the university, recognizing the significance and the seriousness of the legal students, thereby constituting the Board of Professional Studies, while also establishing a Department of Law for the legal students to pursue postgraduate degree courses at the university level. Under the aegis of the NLSF, City Law College de Bapu, which was established in the year 1994, it got duly affiliated to the Bar Council of India in the year 2002. Today, I'm very happy and I feel proud to inform the gathering that we have over 100 plus alumni registered with the Bar Association and practicing as successful lawyers. And the enrollment of the students in the three good law colleges, today it has crossed 250 at present, which started as a handful back then 25 years ago. Allow me to make a mention of the fact that NLSF was also instrumental in rescheduling the exam date of the Naglan Public Service Commission the most prestigious and the most sought after competitive exam in the state, enabling the legal students to sit in the exam, and for which today we have many administrative officers from the legal background, 
many the, uh, the government departments in various capacities. Over the years, NLSF has been proactive and has played a very pivotal role in uplifting the standard of legal education, promoting the interests and welfare of the students' community, fighting against corrupt practices to create and establish a fair, just, and equitable system in the society. Today, NLSF has reached a milestone, but the journey does not end here. We still have many more miles to go and achieve many more landmarks. And so while celebrating our past achievements, let us come together and continue to march forward as torch bearers of an equitable justice system with an attitudinal change of positive mindset and approach to reach to better heights in line with our anniversary theme forging equitable justice. I wish everyone present here this afternoon a very happy and blessed 25th anniversary. God bless us all. Thank you so much. <laughs>